thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Yukio Fukuyama uh, from Japan Meteorological Agency, uh, JMA uh, in Japan. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about new program of uh, aircraft observation in JMA. Uh, I have three topics uh, in this talk. Uh, at first, I briefly introduce an uh, overview of JMA operational observations for atmospheric greenhouse gases. Uh, second is a main topic uh, for outline of new aircraft observation. At third, observational results are presented and I'll discuss uh, their implication for carbon cycle. World Meteorological Agency uh, initiates global, atmosf uh, global Atmosphere Watch Program. As you know, uh, this program has been uh, coordinating global observation network uh, of atmospheric uh, uh, greenhouse gases for more than 25 years. This map, this map shows uh, the GO network of up-to-date WMO breaching in this month. Let's see, in this mass. There are many ground basis stations uh, in the world, as well as few ships and uh, aircraft observations. These data are gathered to WMO World Data Center, operated by JMA, uh, in order to better understand uh, the future climate change by uh, integrating the worldwide measurements. In collaboration with uh, this GO network. This Western North Pacific region is widely covered by uh, our JMA uh, operational observation net, uh, activities. This map shows JMA operational observation network uh, in the Western North Pacific. We have three ground house uh, three ground basis stations uh, for Ryori, Yonaguni-jima, and Minami-Torishima. Also, two research vessels is w widely covered uh, a wider region. For these observations, uh, we, we are mainly monitoring carbon dioxide, methane, carbon monoxide, and nitrous oxide. As one example, this figure shows long CO2 uh, observation records at three stations, ground basis stations. Uh, these high quality data sets uh, have been used for many studies, uh, such as model verification and uh, Asian, Asian outflow researches. However, observation in the free troposphere above the planetary boundary layer are much limited. So, we newly started the aircraft observation flying on this route. Our aircraft, our aircraft observation was started in February tw uh, 2011. A cargo aircraft C-130 by J Japan Ministry of Defense is used for observation to Minami Torishima, Minami Torishima Go Global Station, uh, located 2,000 kilometer from uh, southeast from Tokyo. Tokyo and Minami Torishima is uh, over there. Uh, flight altitude is about six kilometer, so we could observe the mid-troposphere. This is a picture. Uh, for sampling work on board the aircraft. We work very hard uh, during a uh, four hours flight because uh, we have to use manual sampling system uh, using a manual pump uh, system by prohibiting the electric devices uh, on board the aircraft. During one flight once a month, uh, we, we collect 18 flasks uh, during the cruising altitude and six flasks uh, descend to Minami Torishima. So high resolution air sampling can be achieved 
as about 100 km uh, interval in uh, horizontal and about uh, one kilometer uh, in vertical over Minami Torishima. This aircraft observation could provide a unique dead set in the mid troposphere and vertical profiles over the western North Pacific. After the flight, all sampling flasks are brought back to JMA headquarters in Tokyo. We measure uh, concentrations of uh, these four species. This picture shows our measurement system uh, for flask samples. Uh, we developed the atom, uh, automated system based on the recent, recent advanced laser-based analyzers, uh, such as shown. High precision analysis is well be verified by the uh, repeated laboratory experiments by using the uh, standard gases and natural air. In addition, all our measurements are calibrated uh, based on the WMO, oh, oh, I see. WMO mole fraction scale, uh, so the data can be uh, compared with other measurements uh, on the international common scale. So uh, we introduced observed data for almost four years. This figure shows time series of uh, observed concentrations at six kilometer uh, altitude for CO2, CO2, methane, CO, and N2O. These semi-transparent black circles uh, indicates mixing ratio uh, for uh, each, each sample. First, we found clear uh, long-term increasing trends for CO2, methane, and N2O. Uh, these trends are similar to those observed at the surface. The second feature is a seasonal cycle, uh, especially for CO2, uh, we, we can uh, see a very clear seasonal cycle like this. The amplitude, uh, amplitude uh, is about, uh, seasonal amplitude is about 10 ppm, uh, which is slightly smaller than, uh, uh, than the surface one. For other species, we cannot uh, see such a, uh, such a uh, seasonal cycle. As you can see, the methane and CO, uh, the most interesting uh, feature is some episodic uh, events uh, with higher concentrations uh, than the baseline variations. Now, I'll focus uh, on methane in more details. This these black circles again show uh, methane time series observed by the aircraft mid uh, in order to compare with surface air measurements. The red dots show uh, methane observed at Minami Torishima Ground Based Station. As you can see, the surface air shows a clear seasonal cycle like this. Uh, uh, from, win uh, from winter to spring, the methane at the surface, surface is higher than, the, than in the mid troposphere. But from summer to fall, uh, the methane in the mid troposphere get uh, sometimes much higher, higher than the surface one. So we examine the seasonal changes of the vertical profiles. These figures. These figures show the vertical profiles of methane uh, over Minami Torishima Station in two different seasons. Figures on the left side indicates uh, winter to spring, and uh, right side uh, figures uh, for summer to fall. When we look at the uh, winter to spring, methane concentration decreases as uh, altitude increases. This is not surprising because the methane sources exist at the surface and the atmosphere is well stratified during winter. On the other hand, 
From summer to fall, we can see the opposite feature. The uh, mesa increases as uh, altitude increases, uh, uh, often uh, observed. These high mesa air masses at higher altitude are trans transported from the Asian continent. By our trajectory analysis, we found that the air mass uh, in the uh, mid-troposphere uh, came from the continent, from the continent, while the lower one, lower one came from the ocean in this case. So the high methane uh, concentrations are originated from Asia and actively outflowed through the mid-troposphere. In the summer season, not only anthropogenic emission, but also increased biogenic emission uh, may have contributed uh, to the higher concentration of methane. To estimate the high methane sources in summer, we examine the relationship between the observed methane and CO, methane and CO, uh, as shown in this figure. We can clearly see that the methane concentrations are largely enriched than that of uh, CO uh, in, in summer uh, because uh, the regression slope is steeper uh, in summer than in winter. This result strong, strongly suggests that the methane in summer is contributed uh, by the biogenic emissions in Asia such as wetland and uh, rice paddies stimulated by summer temperature increase. As shown in this figure, our, our March, March species aircraft observation could provide useful constraints uh, on estimating Asian emission in, uh, in inventories, especially in summer season. So uh, here is the summary for our JMA aircraft observations. We challenged to research and develop aircraft sampling system uh, co combined with the laser-based system, uh, laser-based analyzing system. The high precision data uh, collected about four years, about four years. In more detailed analysis of the data, uh, you can see our poster. Moreover, uh, we facilitate uh, cooperation with other research institutes uh, co concerned about the, about the use of flask samples and observed data. Uh, finally, I emphasize that the, our high quality data sets by aircraft available to everyone for WDCZZ website. Find more on the web. Thank you. Thank you. The questions. Key. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for your nice presentation. Uh, I was a bit uh, uh, curious about your reported trend in N2O. Uh, you seem to report a trend of about 1% every three or four years, three years, I think, which is higher than what I've seen, I believe. And uh, I was wondering the reason for this relatively rapid trend in the middle of the ocean. I mean, is that an import from China or use of fertilizer? Do you, do you have an idea about that? Uh, so, sorry, I can't explain clearly. I think. We have to uh, ensure co continuing ob observation uh, more, more and more uh, and obtain enough data to uh, solve uh, why, uh, uh, sorry, I can't uh, explain. Uh, 